Simply take a deep breath in. Hold it to the mental count of three. And slowly, slowly exhale. This is where it all begins. Slowing down the mind. Why do we slow down the mind? Because the mind is caught in a trap. And that trap is the very top of your mind, your brain. What happens is, is that we get caught up in all the fears and things that go on in our thinking process. Predicting the future. Thinking about the past. This all takes place in that part of the mind up at the top. But when we take a deep breath in, hold it to the mental count of three, and slowly exhale, we naturally trigger a response within our body that's hardwired just before you go to sleep. You take a deep breath in, hold it to the mental count of three, and slowly slowly exhale. You put the mind into neutral. You give it an opportunity to sink into the midbrain, the middle of your mind, where when you take a split the brain apart, you'll see the eye of Horus there. There's a reason that that symbol is around. It's for you to remember where to go. All the programming takes place in the top part of your mind. All the programming takes place up there in that overgrowth. The thing that is is that 90% of what you're worrying about doesn't even happen. But it puts you into an emotional state of mind. All that thinking adds up to a vibration that then becomes your reality. Vibrationally. When you want to change your life you need to become a little serious about what you do in your own mind. You want to take control of your thinking and simply allow yourself to drift into the midbrain by taking a deep breath in, holding it to the mental count of three, and slowly exhaling. We have become so accustomed to the hyperness of life that slowing down seems boring or people simply have internal reactions to slowing down their mind. The truth is we don't need all that hyperactivity. The truth is, is that all that hyperactivity is mismanifesting your life. Slow down. Let go. If you let go of 90% of the worries that you have, you'll find that you have peace simply by letting go. And peace creates peace that's the beginning. Then the next step is to create joy from this peace. Remember what you think about all day long becomes a vibration in your body that then manifests a reality that most of you don't want. But it is you and solely you 
that's creating your reality. Stop. Take a deep breath in. And slowly exhale. Allow your awareness and your attention to drop into the midbrain behind your eyes. And at first, you're just going to become accustomed to what it feels like to slow your brain down. That hyperactivity in the brain creates all sorts of things within your body. Did you know that if you're in that state for too long, you actually trigger the fight or flight response? So just as if you were in a fight with somebody, you're actually fighting inside your body, creating all the chemicals that you need to run. In fact, all the little capillaries start to close off forcing the blood out into the limbs so that you can run. And we wonder why we have internal organ problems. Because most of us are in a state of anxiety all the time. Wanting to run, wanting to flee. No one takes the time to simply just stop. Stop. This is the power of meditation. What does meditation do? Eventually you'll stop the mind. Eventually you'll be able to ignore the incoming thoughts and let them drift by and sit in a silence within yourself no matter what's going on on the outside or what the brain wants you to think. When you bypass this and just go into that deep place in you and let go, you get your control back in life. You step out of the matrix and begin to create your own reality. The way out of this game is to create your own reality, to own it, to own that you're creating everything. In fact, you're manifesting yourself into this matrix every moment. What if you were to turn and manifest yourself in another place, vibrationally. If you stop running the chatter in your mind, slow down and still your thinking, you drop into a place where creation takes place. What if you began to think about things that brought you joy and delight and started to run patterns of loops of patterns in your mind of those feelings? Well, then you would override what has been going on in your mind. You would override it with joy and delight. This would change your emotional vibration in your body which then changes your reality. Like attracts like in this universe. You begin to find that like attracts like and opposites, the opposite, always repels. Like attracts like and opposites repel. It's the law. Throughout the universe, 
Like attracts like and opposites repel. Everywhere but earth in the minds of men. Do opposites attract? When opposites attract, it can give you a living hell. But when you flip this inside and realize the law of the universe is like attracts like and opposites repel. They simply float away. Let's take this a little deeper. Like thoughts attract. Opposite thoughts repel. It is the law. The law of polarity. But when you have a mind, where the top part of the mind worries about all kinds of things. The worry manifests the thing. Always. This is where we see 90% of the world's problems is right there. By their worry, the brain runs in reverse and you end up manifesting what you don't want. You can see it everywhere you look, with every person you know, you see this opposite pattern running counter to the universe, where opposites attract, opposite thoughts, opposite ideas, opposite realities to the one that you feel inside you ought to be on. It's all a point of where you put your focus because your awareness of the thing creates the thing. And the validation is it shows up in your reality. And then you say, see, I'm right. But you can be right about anything. Because the moment you put your awareness on it and begin to focus on it, you begin to see evidence of it in your life. Evidence shows up to anything that you want to prove. So you're not proving anything by evidence. What you are proving is that you can put your awareness on any one thing and begin to create it. It begins to show up as evidence and validation of your thinking. And then the thing itself begins to show up in your reality. And the moment that you put your attention upon it and say, yes, you're real, you have just birthed a reality where you could birth any reality. By using this format of realizing that evidence shows up for any strong conviction, then you can begin to understand your fears that you're creating them. You put your focus upon the fear and you start seeing evidence of it in the world and you're making it more real and the more real you make it, the more it starts to show up in your reality and then you go, see, I was right. And of course you're right, you created it. This is how blatant it is when we go into how we function internally, mentally, emotionally, becomes your physically. Every time. It may not be exactly what you see in your mind, 
but it is exactly the vibration you feel. Now, if you can do that for fears and things that you don't want, don't you think for a moment that you could do it for what you do want? If you're that powerful to bring in that kind of thing in your life that quickly, don't you think that quickly you could start to think differently and bring in something different in your life? Many of you out there want abundance. Abundance shows up because you put your focus upon it and you think about the joy you would have by having it. You begin to feel those feelings inside of you that you're the luckiest person in the world and money just shows up and plops on your lap effortlessly. You start playing with those thoughts and ideas and feelings inside of you and the next thing you know, evidence starts showing up to prove your point. There's other people that are doing that. Uh, I just had confirmation. I found money on the ground. Money can show up out of nowhere. And the next thing you know, the more you feel this, the more you touch upon the evidence that shows up and the more you believe it, the more it starts to flow in your life and show up in your pocket. Because you took the time to stop, drop, and shift your thinking. When you understand this master, you will understand the key to you and source energy being one. For sessions, training, or just coming for a call, you can find me at www.dwaynehartman.com See you there.